Um, I want to talk to you about the, the type 1 diabetes index, which is a big part of why JDRF is becoming more involved in global access, but it's about much more than JDRF. Let me, let me rewind four years um, to a time when we were trying to think strategically about JDRF's role in helping improve, improve lives around the world. Um, and others were doing the same work. Um, you can see some of the logos of our key partners across the bottom here, Life for a Child, uh, ISPAD itself, the International Diabetes Federation Beyond Type 1. And we couldn't answer some very simple questions. How many people have Type 1? How many people will one day need the cure? Um, how well are they living with Type 1 today? What would be the impact of, say, three more test strips per day? Um, and although estimates did exist, the numbers available were not reliable enough. You, know, you could compare them with good quality of registry data and they'd be off by 35% or 50% or 300%. Um, and so right from the start, um, what we did is we partnered with some really smart people and groups. And you can see the, the, the initial partnership here to help build the numbers. Um, and each of these groups brought significant intellectual capital and resources that helped advance the work in you know, 12 to 18 months. Um, you know, this, this, this is a true, a true collaboration of partners to build this index and to try and answer those questions and shine a light for the first time on the global state of type 1 diabetes. Now, that work is now available. Um, the October edition of the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology includes a paper that has taken uh, roughly 50 people across six continents three years to write. Um, we talked to people with type 1, we talked to their doctors and healthcare uh, practitioners, uh, we studied programs, interventions, and we built this new simulation tool that we call the T1D index. It's now available as a paper, uh, it's available as a uh, website, t1dindex.org. Um, it's available as a simulation tool and as an open source database. Um, and in fact, you can pull it up on your screens right now, t1dindex.org.